Ten, da, 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 three, and a four, and a uh, ah. Put your head down like you're going into tornado drill, okay? And then what can be going on? Do you guys just hide like? I think my favorite part is just being silly and goofy. A lot of what we do, especially in classical music, is so serious and a lot of the subject matter is really serious. And so being in this production, it's just fun. We get to goof off and it's all about making the kids laugh and the moral of the story is a fun one. And, and just having that response also, we were able to take it to a luncheon last week and being able to do it for people and just hearing them laugh and kind of bounce off of their reaction to our jokes was just a great experience and super fun. Carabino ran as fast as they could to my beautiful new brick house. But when they got there, I wasn't home. You see, I was returning my books to the library before they were overdue. Mozart composed all of the music that we're using. It's from several different of his operas. I think Marriage of Figaro, Cosi Fan Tutte, um, and I believe Magic Flute is also in there. John Davies went in and put his own words to it to fit the story of the three little pigs in it. This kind of brings it down a little bit, but starts introducing some really popular and famous opera music to young children. I'm going to spend a week in Amarillo and we're going to go um, perform about five to six shows a day for several different elementary schools. It's definitely going to be probably one of few this year. We were fortunate enough in the School of Music to be able to still do our big production of Dialogues of the Carmelites. However, that was only for an audience of 10. So this is going to be a really great experience to be able to go and sing for the schools and be with a larger audience, especially after the year that we had and given all the challenges that we've had to face with the pandemic and social distancing.